My name is Jonathan Jones, and I am a physical education teacher from Bowie, Maryland, and I am also a member of the Phys Edagogy team. Welcome to the Phys Ed Summit 3.0. Thank you so much for joining us for this 24-hour back-to-back global event. We cannot make this day happen without you. Reminder that we are using technology and things happen. If for some reason the video feed stops, please check out the tozzle for the new video link. It may take us a few minutes to get it started and rolling again. Thank you for your patience. First and foremost, we would like to thank you, the participants, for taking time to attend the summit. We are very humbled by the outpouring of support and the promotion of the summit from each and every one of you. By sharing with one person, you're able to impact hundreds of students. Thank you so much for being here to push for best, best practices. Effective physical education and PD. This is an amazing PD community and we are so excited to be a part of it. After the summit, we will post the feedback survey to the Phys Ed Summit 3.0 homepage. We hope that you will provide us with some feedback so that we can make 4.0 even better. In order to receive your PD certificate, we will need to fill out the quick survey after the summit. Now it is my pleasure to announce and introduce our presenter, Sasha Alexov. Sasha specializes in physical education programming and has conducted many presentations for teachers and sport and recreation groups. Sasha has led outdoor education and summer programs for children focusing her efforts on meeting the diverse needs of, of participants. As a, as a program coordinator at physical, at physical and Health Education Canada, she oversees such programs as Quality Daily Physical Education Award, At My Best, and Physical Literacy Related Resources. She enjoys being physically active, helping others reach their goals, and is passionate for healthy, active living. So without further ado, here is Sasha Alexa. Canada. I want to thank Phys Ed, the Phys Ed Summit team for having PHE Canada attend this Phys Ed Summit and uh, allowing us to be able to share our resources with you. This should be an amazing and educational 24 hours. Today I'll be speaking to you all regarding one of the programs we run here at PHE Canada. This is called the At My Best program. But before I begin with At My Best, let me talk briefly about Physical and Health Education Canada, who we are and what we do. Uh, established in 1933, Physical and Health Education Canada works closely with provincial and territorial physical and health education associations and partner organizations from coast to coast to deliver policy standards, resources, curriculum support tools, and relevant information. PHE Canada believes in the importance of leadership development for both students and professionals, in the importance of demonstrating leadership and engaging in partnerships and collaborations, and in the principles of the Canadian Sport for Life long-term athlete development. PHE Canada strives to achieve their vision by supporting schools and becoming health-promoting schools, which include the provision of quality daily physical education and quality school health. Physical and Health Education Canada, Canada advocates for and advances quality physical education and quality health education programs offered in health-promoting schools to enable students the opportunity to develop the knowledge skills, and attitudes needed to lead physically active and healthy lives now and in their future. We support schools through a range of programs, resources, and initiatives. We are committed to setting quality standards for school-based phys, phys ed and health education programs in Canada and developing tools that support those standards. We strive for ongoing collaboration between grassroots, provincial, national, and international stakeholders in the development and delivery of services and programs. We provide meaningful professional development opportunities to staff and volunteers 
and provide a network of communication and support for its members. PHE Canada offers a free registration providing access to a range of benefits and resources, including email updates and news. So we send out uh, monthly in-touches or emails which, with resources available for you, and you would be the first to know once you register to be a member. We send articles of interest for themes and topics related to physical health education. Uh, we send out activity ideas networking opportunities, and opportunities to review or pilot resources. We really rely on our member base for when we're creating resources to make sure that they take them into the schools and provide us feedback to let us know if this is actually feasible for the classroom or gym setting. We have over 10,000 members across Canada and internationally who are predominantly educators working in the school system, the administrators who support them, and the university professors engaged in pre-service teaching training and research in physical and health education. What I will be speaking on today will be focusing on one of our programs that has fallen in my portfolio called At My Best. I will explain what it is, the area of focus, components of At My Best, then give an overview of the kindergarten to grade three program and the grades four, five, and six program overview. I will also speak about the features of At My Best and then provide a run through of each portal website. So I will be showing you the hands on of what the portals of each grade look like. That'll be at the end. So the At My Best program is a school based children's wellness program. This program was developed by PHE Canada with generous support from AstraZeneca Canada. This program has also re received endorsement from the College of Family Physicians of Canada. At My Best is linked to the school health and physical education curriculum across Canada and was developed by a team of educators with expertise in phys ed, health, and nutrition and children's wellness. Its goal is to help every child thrive to be at their best. The objective of At My Best is to inspire and motivate children and their families to make healthier choices today and develop lifelong healthy habits. The At My Best program began as a K-3, grade K-3 program, so kindergarten, grade 1, grade 2, grade 3, and has now expanded to the grades 4, 5, and 6. The At My Best program includes cross-curricular learning opportunities, primarily numeracy and literacy. Each lesson includes suggestions of activities students can do at home with their family, such as practicing a fun physical activity or prepping a special family meal. The At My Best program was developed in collaboration with physical educator, educators, teachers from the elementary and secondary stream, phys ed professors, family counselors, vice principals, public health nurses, early childhood educators, and health promoters. It's a resource for educators by educators in all relevant, relevant fields of study. At My Best uses a holistic approach when teaching physical and health education. It ties in health and phys ed curriculum from every province, and it builds awareness of the self and emotions. There are daily physical activities associated with each lesson, which the teacher can use daily, and this would contrib contribute to a positive school culture. At My Best helps students make connections between physical activity, healthy eating, and emotional well-being. It integrates and reinforces other curriculum areas, such as math and literacy. A unique component to the At My Best is that it supports character education and life skill development. In the K-3 aspect of the program, there is a whole supplement resource strictly on character education and how to incorporate those ideas into the class and whole school setting. A major benefit of the program is the engagement piece for the parents. At My Best provides opportunities to build healthy and living connections with parents. In each lesson, there are take-home activities where students will take home um, a sheet or an activity that their parents should participate in. Uh, and I'll go into greater detail with that later on. So at My, so at my Best, uh, the program is divided into two streams. There's grades kindergarten to grade three, and grades four to six. Each program delivers the same themes and underlining messages. 
And actually, we are currently uh, uploading the junior kindergarten uh, component of this program. So we've extended it so it's not just K-3 to now, it's junior kindergarten to grade 3. Uh, the lessons haven't been uh, uploaded as of yet, but they should be in the coming weeks. So the underlining themes associated with the At My Best program are called the emotional ABCs. A meaning ability. So children recognize their own ability. They are able to. So this focuses on individual ability, awareness, choices, and empowerment, as well as the ability to try new things and ask others for help. It associates with themselves and they figure out throughout the lessons of what they themselves can do. B focuses on belonging. We belong to. This is the understanding, the idea of being inclusive, so involving others. Understanding how we're the same while appreciating and celebrating the differences each and every one of us have. The lessons and stories reinforce the importance of remembering that we belong, that we need to include others. C is for caring, caring about us. Uh, we focus on respect and consideration for ourselves and others. The lessons remind children to do what is best for them and what is best for others. They also identify that caring for self and others while making healthy choices about food and physical activity and taking the time to rest. Here is a kind of a format of the standard at my best lesson plan. Each grade has 10 lesson plans associated to them. The first lesson plan is an introduction. The next three will focus specifically on physical activity. The next three will focus more so on healthy living, which encompassed healthy eating, emotional well-being, and community building. And the last lesson is a culminating lesson bringing all of the concepts learned together. When, registr when registering for the At My Best program, teachers receive a toolkit. Uh, included in this toolkit are various types of task cards related to individual activity, partner activity, and whole group activities. There are also healthy food task cards. So the physical activity task cards have various themes associated with the ABCs. There are individual task cards set for the A's, so the ABLES, so it focuses more so on the child itself of what they can do themselves, whereas other um, task cards focus on the B, so belonging, where they'll do some partner activities together. And then C focuses on kind of community and a whole school or the whole class and what they can do together as a community. Um, so there are individual activities to work on such as um, stretching or balancing or kicking and then when you move on to the B's it focuses on partner stretches, partner activities um, and then you can have um, the C which is just as a group can you do a certain activity. There are also healthy snack cards, which are associated with the Canada Food Guide. Uh, so you have uh, each food group associated with each task card, and it shows an example of what it is. So on the PowerPoint right now, you see vegetables and fruit. So you see um, orange or a glass of orange juice, and then you see a fruit salad. So in each food group, you'll have task cards. Um, an example that you can use of an activity that you can use with these task cards would be to lay all the, task, the cards, the, the healthy food cards on the ground, divide the students into groups, and get the students to work as a team to try and pick up a card for each food group and organize it in a certain way. So and as I mentioned before, a unique, a unique component of At My Best is a parent engagement piece. The take-home piece is integral to the delivery of the program. Schools must commit to the take-home component when ordering a kit. A strong connection between school and home makes learning at school more meaningful, real, and enduring for students. That's why At My Best includes this take-home piece. Components of the take-home activity include an online storybook. This is strictly for K-3 only. And this storybook is an online story featuring a name, a star named Ray, who is faced with various decisions about eating well, physical activity, and emotional well-being. 
The story gives an example to the students on what happens when you eat poorly or do not go to sleep on time and how you feel about that situation and what you can do to make yourself feel better if you feel sick. Um, this is online, as I mentioned before, but parents can use this and read the story to their kids when they're home. Another component is the take-home kit. So students take home an At My Best class book where they engage their parents in participating in the activities associated with the lesson that they just learned. So an example of this would include making a smoothie recipe at home. So the instructions would be in the class book and families can make this smoothie together, maybe after dinner or for snack, and then themselves write a recipe of their own to, for the child to bring back to, to class so that the teacher could make a healthy recipes book to give to the families at the end of the year. Another example would be a family bingo, which I'll show uh, later on. Another component of the um, take-home kit would be letters to parents or home. And this letter to parents just is an overview of what the Am I Best program is and what the objectives are and what they're trying to accomplish and how they can be engaged in this program with their child, as well as with this letter, there we, it's unique in itself where it's um, translated into eight different languages. So there is no language barrier, and every parent of any nationality would, well, with the eight languages, would understand uh, what At My Best is about. Another component are activity idea ideas. So once again, this is in the class book where the teacher teacher will send home an activity for the family to participate in together. An example of this would be playing follow the leader. So do activities around various objects, so trees in the park, stuffed animals, and pillows in the, in the apartment, and then discuss as a family the type of routes you often take or when you go to home, when you go home or within your community. So if you go to the grocery store, like what route would you take? Uh, discuss as a family when taking different routes, what might be important to know? Um, so for example, if, even if in your house there's a fire, what route would you take to get out of the house? How would you show caring for your family in the event of a fire? And what emergency plans would you need to put in place? Uh, one last component of the uh, home, at home kit would be online interactive flash games and e-learning tutorials that tie in physical activity, healthy living, and nutrition. And I'll show an example of these later on, but you can essentially use the online uh, interactive games and play these at home uh, with your child that emphasize the ABCs or the culminating uh, themes to At My Best. So this slide just shows an example of uh, what some take-home examples are. So these are just uh, simply piece, uh, sheets of paper with um, instructions or activities on them. And uh, so the first one is called the Family Mover. And this is from grade two, and this is the lesson three. So in each grade, each lesson that you receive with At My Best from the grade, you'll actually have a take-home component to it that the teacher could send home for the parents to try and engage their family in. So the family mover activity uh, goes something like this. So as a family, think of five creative ways to move the object together from one end of a room to the other. For example, can you move a paper plate together from one end of the living room to the other? Choose five objects that you can move together as a family. Be creative. So it could be a plastic cap, a paper plate, a stuffed animal. Uh, each person must have one body part on the object. So they might have a hand or a foot or a head. And can you use another body part to move the object? As a family, move the object from one end of the room or area outside to the other. And if you want to challenge, add some obstacles. So maybe put a coffee table or go around the couch. And you could also modify it to put in on some music and see if you can move all five objects before the music stops. So that would be the family mover activity. Um, and what you can do is if you really want to engage your parents uh, within the families, you can send this home and get them to kind of sign it or write how they went about doing this activity and get the child to bring it back. Um, another example is called the ABC Bingo Card. And this is where you complete one activity at home each day. So in each bingo square, there is an activity that you can participate in at home. 
So you have an adult initiate, initial and date each square as you complete them, or you can get them to put a sticker on it to make it more fun. Uh, and once you complete one row at a time, or you try and complete one row at a time, horizontally, vertically, or any way, and then do your best to try all the activities for a full card. And you can even get your parents to, to join in on that. Um, so when ordering the At My Best program, teachers will have access to the toolkit. The toolkit has all the components needed to run a successful At My Best program. This toolkit for the K-3 include online lesson plans, so this also focuses on or includes rubrics and assessment of learning, assessment for learning, and self-assessment. Uh, there is online black masters, black line, last, black line masters, which are pretty much just activities teachers can print out to give to their students. There's the online storybook, so at my best, on my way, on my way on my way, a journey of a star named Ray. Uh, you will also be receiving a Ray the Star puppet, which would be sent to your school directly, as well as the student task cards, which I mentioned before, with the physical activity task cards and healthy eating task cards. And then you also have online take-home materials, which I showed an example of previously, as well as the At My Best online music. So a unique component to the grade K-3 to program is the play days. So play days are a celebration of the new things students have learned in concluding the At My Best program or kickstart new habits involving helping choices and physical activity into the future. The At My Best play day may include your class, the entire school, or even your whole school community. It really depends on how big you want to make this play day. Essentially, it's just the end of uh, the At My Best program and trying to celebrate everything you've learned throughout this program. So the At My Best Play Days officially take place in June, and we do this every year. And uh, this just this past June, uh, Ray the Star, so we have a big mascot that actually attends these Play Days, so the kids can actually see Ray from the storybook. Uh, Ray the Star traveled to British Columbia to celebrate um, a signature Play Day event with three schools in that province. The signature play day included a visit from Ray, the mascot, $1,000 for purchase of equipment or creating of a program that supports the At My Best philosophy. And this year we had a matched $1,000 grant from our sponsor, Saputo, for the purchase of school physical activity equipment or renovation of school sports facilities and a catered nutrition break. Schools that registered for a play day that were not in BC we're actually entered into a draw for an At My Best prize pack of four $500 gift cards to Wintergreen, which is um, you can purchase uh, physical phys ed equipment. Uh, so this happens every year, so maybe watch out for next year, and who knows, you might be eligible to register for a play day, and we might be going to your school. Um, the At My Best, now I'll be shifting my focus to the grades four, five, six. Uh, this program was developed as a response to the widely successful At My Best Kindergarten to Grade 6 program. This is a unique resource designed for students in grades 4, 5, and 6 that combines physical activity and healthy eating, placing an emphasis on emotional well-being and global citizenship. So we move the focus into, instead of community building, to global citizenship, so being citizens of the world. The Grade 4, 5, 6 program uses the same themes as the ABCs, but coined the term I, we, us. It has a basic underlining messages focusing on ability, belonging, and community. We've just worded it a bit differently. So the I, we, us are the ABCs all grown up, is what we, technically, what we normally say. So the child first de develops their sense of self in the I, so individual ability. They see their worth as an individual. Uh, the activities in At My Best related to the I focus on individual development, empowerment, and personal reflection. Moving on to the we, we focus more on belonging to a team, class, or group. We focus on working with others as part of a classroom, pair, or team, and students apply the I skills they've learned to help establish healthy relationships. While well, then moving to the S, 
was where you're developing citizenship skills, to the develop of a sense of what it means to be a global citizen. Children are empowered to make a difference in their class, school, and community through a series of activities that will help them. So similar to the kindergarten to grade three program, when ordering the grade four, five, six at my best program, teachers will have access to the toolkit. The toolkit has all the components needed to run a successful at my best program. So this particular toolkit includes, once again, access to the portal, we call it the portal website, where there's online lesson plans, once again, with assessment strategies that teachers can use when assessing their students throughout the lessons. Online black line masters, which, which once again are just activity sheets uh, that they can send out and uh, get their students to complete, as well as take-home activities and um, interactive online games. So essentially, students can go onto the online portal and go to the interactive game section and click on a game and play it. Um, and the materials that they that the school would be receiving uh, through mail would be the task cards. And the task cards are a bit more unique than the K-3, to whereas they don't have a healthy food component. It's just strictly focusing on um, physical activity and emotional well-being. So there's lots of task cards that focus on, oh, how would you help um, someone who's being bullied online? And you can start a discussion with the picture shown on the task card. So now I'm going to just walk you through um, each portal website, just showing you the differences in the K-3 to and the 4, 5, 6. So this is just a overview picture of what the K-3 portal looks like. And I'm just going to exit out of the PowerPoint to show you an example. So once you sign in and register, you get access, access to a username and password. Once you log that in, you're in to the portal. And this is essentially the welcome page of what the K-3 website looks like. And you can see the navigation bar at the top that says home, lessons, games, videos, and music. So home essentially is just this home page, which welcomes you, gives you an explanation of at my best and what it's all about. And once you hover over the lessons button, you see all the grades, as well as the Ray the Star storybook. So unfortunately right now, junior kindergarten is not up yet, but it should be shortly. So once you see, once you hover over kindergarten, you'll see the lessons from one to 10, all right there. So say I'm going to click on lesson one, we're on our way. It directs me right to an overview of what the lesson is all about and a lesson button and appendices. So once I click on the lessons, it'll direct me to a PDF, which if you want, you can print out because I know some teachers do like to have um, tangible materials, but if you, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. If you want to save some trees, you can also uh, just have this online where you'll be given uh, the lesson plan. So you, the lesson plan is broken out into the purpose, so what the purpose of this lesson is about, curriculum expectations, so which curriculum outcomes are being met within this lesson, um, assessment and evaluation, so what to look for, how to have self-assessment, the materials you would need, uh, which most of them are all online, um, you might need some bean bags or scarves, but I'm sure um, if you don't have those, you can just be creative and use like um, tissue paper or um, I don't know, like get balls from the dollar store. Um, and then once you move down, you have activity description, which focus on what is actually going to be going on within this lesson plan. You can see the curriculum connection, so we're going to be focusing as well as language. And then the character education extension. So this, the K-3 program is unique in itself where it has the character education kind of embedded in the lesson plans and how to kind of uh, deliver that message as well. So you also have guided discovery questions that you can focus on while you are doing this lesson. So this lesson is just introducing the storybook. Um, and then wrap up applications of the concept daily physical activity for the day, what to do, and then the link to home. And uh, that would be it. That's nor the normal format of each lesson. 
when I go back here, I can show you the appendices, but this is more so like here's um, the letter for the parents. Here are some of the uh, actions. There's a lot of dancing for kindergarten and songs. So it just shows you the lyrics of the songs, the dance moves. Um, and I know that there's some uh, re a rubrics and assessment strategies there. So that is in every grade. Uh, essentially, it's the same format. I will just show you uh, the storybook. So this is On My Way. A journey of a star named Ray. Uh, this is interactive. This is online. I'm not going to click it, but it's an interactive online storybook. So it it reads it for you. There's music, and it it goes through Ray the star and what happens in that story. Um, once you click on games, you'll also see the interactive games that uh, kind of focus on the parent component. So the parents can kind of go online and um, click on the games and play with them with their children. Uh, the videos that are associated are focusing on some of the activities. So a good thing about the At My Best program is that there are activities, so the throw and catch, or songs where maybe a generalist teacher who doesn't really have a background in phys ed or how to teach skills in movement uh, would be a bit hesitant to do some of the physical activity activities in this program. So a neat thing about At My Best is it shows you videos of children actually performing these actions so that the teacher can see the cues of what they should look for. Um, so that's in there as well. And then you have music. And this is just like an online music playlist where when you're singing the songs or doing the dances, you have it all here. So that's essentially what the K-3 program looks like. Um, I think now I'm going to be focusing on the four, five, six, but I just want to show you essentially what it looks like. It has a different feel, as you can tell, more mature than the K-3, to um, but essentially the same structure in Portal. Uh, so let me just move into here. So once again, once you register, you get a login and a password. You'll, get, you'll enter into this page, which has homes, lessons, games, and videos. Um, there's only four, five, six. But essentially, if I want to go to lesson one and start my unit, my grade, you'll see that there's a bit more um, items here than in the K-3. to So there's a lesson plan, which is essentially the same, as well as appendices, the same as K-3. to You have black line masters, which I'll show you an example. So this is a placemat. There are, it will reference the black line master in the lesson plan that you need to use. So it's all here for you. Uh, in any way, shape, or form that you would like to use it as. Um, there's also videos. So this video is actually the intro to grade four. And then there's games that are associated with that lesson. So a day in the life of a healthy fourth grader. I'm actually going to now show you the grade four intro because a unique aspect in uh, grades four, five, six portal is that there are intro videos to each grade level, kind of setting the tone of what to expect when doing this at my best program for the students. So I will uh, just put that up for you right now. Oh, actually, I have it right here. So I will get that ready for you to look at. Grade four, a year where you're learning a ton of new stuff. This is also a year where you're growing in every possible way. Part of the 
yours and why taking care of it through proper eating and exercise is so important. The other thing about getting from here to there is that you're going to learn that you can't do it by yourself. It's about team, and it's about people looking after each other. To get from here to there, you also need to understand this concept. Healthy lifestyle choices, which means making decisions about a whole lot of things, from diet to exercise to personal safety to looking after our environment. Hmm. Let's see. Healthy choices. So, you're really tired. You need some energy because you've left your homework until the last minute and it's getting late. Chocolate bar, soft drink, go to bed early, get up early and do the homework when you're fresh in the morning. Or, you're at the park with some friends and a new kid is getting teased by somebody in your class. You don't think this is a very good way to behave, but what do you do? Ignore? Get involved? Find a parent or a teacher? Choices. Lots of them. And at my best, four or five six will help you learn to make the kinds of choices you will need to avoid the trap and get no. So jump in. What you're about to experience will change you for the better. It will help you get from here to there. And when you get to there, you'll be feeling a whole lot better about a whole bunch of things. It's not just about surviving in the world of fourth grade, but learning how to get the best out of it by living healthy and becoming, well, amazing. At my best, four, five, six. It's new and improved. It's bigger, stronger, brighter, better, faster. And it starts now. Great. So that is just an example of an intro video that um, is associated with grade four. There's also the grade five and grade six intro videos. Um, so those are also held in videos. And just like the K-3, there are also videos uh, focusing on physical activities. So once again, if a general teacher is a bit unsure about what cues to look for, when uh, children are, when they're assessing children with uh, regarding physical activity, these videos can kind of help them uh, see what they need to look for. Um, and then I will just briefly show you uh, the games. So these are games for the grades four, five, and six to play. Um, they have different themes within them. So they focus on anything from physical activity healthy living choices, environmental awareness, to cyberbullying and social media. So kind of uh, explaining uh, how to be cautious regarding social media, which is a huge thing now, especially for the young youth, as well as um, cyberbullying and what you should do and how you should address these issues if there is someone being cyberbullied. There are also games about um, environmental safety or environmental uh, issues as well of like how to clean up a playground with um, how to recycle properly. Uh, so just examples like that. Um, there's also fitness challenges as well as taking your pulse, so understanding your heart and how your pulse works. Um, and uh, I'm just going to show you a quick example of one of the games, and it'll be the bingo game. So this is called Crazy Bingo, and I'll just let it play. Are you thinking of others in your community? Try this bingo game to fill your bucket with good deeds that help you grow from thinking me to thinking we. Doing healthy things for yourself is important, but in order to get from here to there, it's just as important to do kind things for the people around you. Remember, it's also about we. Click on each of the nine bingo balls to reveal good deed questions. Answer the question correctly, and you will earn a star on your good deed bingo card. Let's get started. Click on a bingo ball. Select the answer that best fits. So essentially, this is uh, you could do this as a class activity where you get this up on a screen and you ask the kids, uh, well, what would
necessarily help anyone else out. So it just focuses it on uh, letting the children know, like, yeah, this might be fun for you, but does this really um, focus on other people and uh, actually uh, allow you to acknowledge the we instead of just focusing on my yourself? Uh, let's try going to a concert with your family. Try again. This might be a good choice for your own health and wellness, but it doesn't necessarily help anyone else out. So once again, that's the same message, and then if you click uh, raising money to help someone else out. Choice. Your choice is a good deed that shows you are thinking of others besides yourself. And as you can see, there's a star on one of the uh, boxes, and you can go through this, and you can kind of be a bit more creative with this game within your classroom, and maybe even have a physical activity going on in the classroom before you actually answer the question and whatnot. It's really up to you and how you would like to um, execute this uh, game. Okay, so how to register? I think I went through. Um, the, both the portals uh, fairly quickly, but what you can do is uh, you just need to go to uh, www.atmybest.ca and once you do that, you'll be uh, sent to this brochure page where, as you can see from the little arrow, this is where you sign up. You can also go to phecanada.ca uh, where you can uh, access the At My Best uh, program and more information about it. But um, essentially, you just register on our website, and you'll be getting, um, uh, actually, I'm going to show you, um, just to make it easier. So if you go to www.atmybest.ca, it'll lead you to the brochure page where you, it says sign up. So sign up here today, and it'll lead you to a page to register. So this is us on the back end, so please hold. Um, great. So it will show your email, password, confirm your password, and then it will give you more information about who you are, where you're from, um, and if your principal is aware of this, uh, of you accessing the At My Best program, and what grades you teach, and what kit you would like to order. Uh, if you are ordering for your whole school, I strongly suggest that you just say um, kindergarten to grade three multi-kit and then grade four, five, six multi-kit. That way you get all the task cards from the K-3 to program as well as the four, five, six. If you only click on grade one only or grade five only, you'll be only getting those task cards for that grade. And I know like uh, lots of teachers maybe just will be focusing on that grade, but if you really want your whole school to kind of benefit from this program, I suggest you just um, order all the kits, um, every grade of the kits for those grades and the task cards. And once you submit it, you'll be getting an email with your login and password and then a co confirmation email stating that your shipments or your equipment or materials will be shipped to you. And then you are all set, and you can start uh, using the At My Best uh, website or program. So if you have any other questions or any questions regarding At My Best, once again, just visit our website at www.atmybest.ca. You can also order the toolkit online uh, just from the page I, I just showed you, but it's www.atmybest.ca slash sign up or feel free to email me at sasha at phecanada.ca or give me a call if you have any other questions. Um, once again, I'd like to thank the Phys Ed Summit team for allowing PHE Canada to come up here and speak on At My Best, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the session.